Let's try this problem. So we are multiplying two fractions. We've got 5 over x squared times x over y. Okay. So the simplest way to do this is because it's multiplication, we can just multiply across the top and across the bottom. So we are just looking at 5 times x is 5x over x squared times y is just x squared y. Now, we are technically done here, but we haven't simplified it. So that's a problem is, is we can reduce this. Um, so we've got an x up here and an x squared down here. So let me just kind of show you something. I'm going to rewrite this just so you can see what's going on. 5x over, and then instead of writing x squared, I'm going to write x times x times y. Okay. This is just a great visual for you to see what's going on. So I've got an x up here. Remember, that's multiplication. I've got an x up here and two x's down here. So that can divide out, and I am left with 5 over x, y. Okay? And that's my answer. All right? So um, that was pretty easy. It wasn't too bad, right? Um, I have seen students do this, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with doing this. You see an x, you see an x squared, you say, okay, this goes away, and this just drops to a 1. So then I'm left with 5 over x, y. That's perfectly fine too to show that there, but I wanted you to see where it's coming from because I sometimes have seen mistakes. Like sometimes they'll cross out the two and then they'll forget that they did that and they'll think the whole thing went away. So also a suggestion I have is to actually put a one there after you cross out the two. Um, another option, which I think is good too, is um, simplify it kind of before you even actually do the multiplication. So if you, if you know this is multiplication, you can just say, well, I've got an X down here, up here, sorry, two X's down here. So again, I can divide that out with one of these, make that a one, okay? And then you're kind of just now going across the top and the bottom. So five times this divided out as one. So that's just gonna be five. And then you've got one X and one Y, okay? So there you go. There are multiple ways to do this problem. And hopefully that helps.